The battle for Gabriel Brownlow Dindy has officially come down to two teams, the Oklahoma Sooners and the Texas A&M Aggies. And we need to talk about this because this is a massively important prospect to each of these respective institutions. The Aggies are coming off of really, really productive events, and they've gotten a lot of great grabs for this 22 class. The Oklahoma Sooners are putting together a phenomenal recruiting class both this year and in the 23 cycle, but that defensive line position is one that they would really love to capitalize on, especially to put the cherry on top of the emergence of the Alex Grinch defense. We have got to talk about this, but before we do, as always, I want to hear from y'all. Hop down to the comments. Let me know where do you think Brownlow Dindy ultimately ends up? Do you think it will be with the Aggies, or do you think he will become an Oklahoma Sooner? I cannot wait to hear what y'all are thinking. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it, and if you would enjoy this content, be sure to like and comment down below. But with all that being said, let's talk about Brownlow Dindy because his final two teams I don't think are super surprising to anybody that's really kept up with this recruiting process. For Brownlow Dindy, if I would have had to have guessed a few months ago, OU and A&M would have made logical sense, especially because he's seemingly always been high on OU. And then with the family moving to that college station or making that move, it, it just makes sense that these are the two teams. Especially when you look at what A&M right now is doing as far as recruiting the defensive line. They are doing a really, really solid job on defensive line recruiting right now. And they're sending a guy that has a really good history of defensive line recruiting in Elijah Robinson after Brownlow Dindy. The Texas A&M Aggies are in a position where they're not only going after LeBeus Overton in the class of 2023, but they just also made the top three for the number one player in the class of 2022, Walter Nolan, another defensive lineman. And now they find themselves in the top two for Gabriel Brownlow Dindy. So Elijah Robinson Jimbo Fisher and the Aggies are doing a really solid job in recruiting right now, and it's not to be underestimated, and it isn't just relegating itself to the defensive line position. They've gotten some really great grabs over the past few weeks. Bryce Anderson was an unbelievable win for the Aggies and looks to be a really, really key player when he ultimately gets on campus. He's someone I'm very excited to see. On Oklahoma's front, this is the team that currently has the crystal ball inserted on 24-7 sports in their favor. Now, Ultimately, that doesn't mean that it's a guarantee that he's going there. It just means that in the past, the recruiting experts that have talked to him have felt like OU was in the best position. And there hasn't been other crystal balls inserted for any other team's favor. So I don't see any reason for us to believe that OU is in a bad position, especially when they were just named inside that top two. For Brownlow Dendy, Oklahoma provides a unique opportunity, and it all revolves around Alex Grinch's defense and how it progresses this year. It's been very impressive to see how far the Sooners have come defensively in such a short period of time. I'm not saying that it's complete or that there still isn't a long ways to go. There's always a long ways to go in college football, especially when you're looking at where he was coming from towards where he's going. But the results... The results that have been yielded so far are impressive nonetheless, especially with how quickly he's been able to achieve them. But a guy such as Gabriel Brownlow Dindy coming to the Oklahoma Sooners would just be the cherry on top of the package that the Sooners could present to college football saying, our defense, our defense has arrived. Because right now, Oklahoma, we know what they do with offensive recruiting. I mean, if you want to look, just go look at either this class where they have two of the most dynamic running backs in the nation, a part of the 22 class, or go look at the 23 class where they have a bunch of wide receivers who are coveted as can be and one of the nation's top passers since 2000 in Malachi Nelson. They recruit offensively as well as anybody in the nation. But the question is, is can they get that defensive recruiting on the same level as the offensive recruiting? And a guy such as Gabriel Brownlow Dindy would be a great addition. Because here recently, Oklahoma's defensive recruiting has absolutely improved. Whether we're talking Ethan Downs, Clayton Smith, Latrell McCutcheon, or a guy that I was very high on coming out of high school. I personally thought he should have been a five-star, and I was really hoping my Tide would be able to get back into the conversation, especially after he decommitted from Texas, Billy Bowman. That dude right there is unbelievably talented, hailing from Denton Ryan. If you remember way back in the spring before spring, spring practice even began, I, I took a shot and said that he was someone I was looking at as a freshman that would contribute, and I still stand by that statement. 
But still, the fact of getting a five-star defensive lineman such as Gabriel Brownlow Dendy would be huge for the Sooners, and it would really be that cherry on top for Grinch's presentation of the Oklahoma Sooners defense coming to the main stage. And look, it's not going to be gloom and doom if OU misses out on Brownlow Dendy, but this is a prospect that is still massively important to the Sooners and one that they would love nothing more than to get. So hop down to the comments, let me know what you're thinking. That's it. See you.